Am I the asshole? For sending my wife away and not checking up on her? My wife has a very strong bond with her family. Last month her both parents moved to live with her brothers in Australia and she's been feeling very down since then. I'm definitely at fault for not making enough time for her these past few weeks due to excessive workload at my new job. This all led to constant arguments initiated by her. It started to get really suffocating and frustrating for both of us so I asked her if for a few days, she can go live at her parents' house that they've left in her care. She did not say anything, but packed her stuff and left in the morning. I only wanted her to have some time alone to clear her head. I assumed she needs space and called to ask her if she reached there safe and needs grocery since it's been a month that house is empty. She didn't pick my calls but sent a text later to inform that she's there. I thought she really wants to spend this time alone so I decided to not bother her because she's an introvert who often needs her personal space. We talked very briefly over messages a few times after that. On Tuesday I took a day off work to go see her since it had been over a week and she didn't return or even called. Got to know she's been sick for days and is on leave from work. When I asked her why she didn't inform me, she said she did not want to bother me. I took her to see a doctor and turned out she has jaundice and is four weeks pregnant. Now she is back home, I've apologized but she's unusually reserved and I feel like I am the reason. My intention was to only give her space and have some time alone for myself, I really love her and never intended to hurt her at all. Am I the asshole? Throw away account. You're the asshole one. You were arguing too. You asked her to leave three. You then ignored her for an extended time. Four. How the fuck did you think she would act? Five. Dude you're lucky she is even there six. She's probably checking out what's involved in moving to Australia right now seven. How can people be this tone deaf eight? Wow. So, let me see if I have this right. Your wife was depressed because her parents moved. You didn't make time to help her because of work. You were fighting a lot and how you found time to fight when you had no time to be loving and supportive is beyond me, so you kicked her out to go live in an empty house. How you could have written all of this out without realizing that you're the asshole is amazing. Holy shit you're the asshole. This woman is going to be the mother of your child and your answer to being in conflict with her was to ask her to leave. Don't do this again. Next time she might not come back. Let this sink in. Your wife was sick for days. So sick that she was on leave from work. When I asked her why she didn't inform me, she said she did not want to bother me. Read it again carefully you are so dismissive of her needs that she is afraid to tell you that she is seriously ill because she doesn't want to bother you. You're the asshole either change your priorities or get a divorce and set up co-parenting because she deserves someone better than you. A lot better than you. Info did you just tell her to get out and stay at her parents or did you communicate your concerns and her potential need for space? You wrote here before about the same thing. You were the R before and you're still the R. Being an introvert doesn't give you the right to order people around and not check up on your own wife. Please just get divorced and don't have kids cause you suck. I'm looking for the link to your previous post about this. Is this a repost? I'm certain I voted on this story within the last few weeks. You're the asshole then. Still an R. You're the asshole. I don't know why you would even post this question. I suspect the next time we hear from you, you'll want to know if you're after refusing to pay child support because she has free housing at her parents' old house. You're the asshole so your wife is lonely and down because she misses her family. You've been neglecting her and fully acknowledge that you aren't giving her the attention she deserves. She brings this up to you and tries to talk to you about how she's feeling, which leads to arguments. And your solution to all of this is to ask her to move out for a while? Really? I mean, reread that. How on earth can you even think that you're not the asshole here? You're the asshole. 
I'm surprised she came back. You're the asshole. You did not let her go to the other house for her good but because you rather spend your time working than care about your wife. She was just a nuisance to you. You not checking up on her proves that. Prioritizing your work over your wife work never looks good, you'll have some major making up to do. You're the asshole big time op. I'm definitely at fault for not making enough time for her these past few weeks due to excessive workload. So you know the reason why op. What a crass way for being dismissive to your partner like good lord. Try finding ways to communicate your workload and strike a healthier work-life balance. Oof why do you assume that she needs alone time to clear her head when she's homesick and missing her favorite people? I feel like you prioritized giving yourself some time alone rather than supporting your wife when she needed you. You're the asshole. So disappointing. My wife's essentially lost her family since they now live on the opposite side of the world. Her being sad is a bummer for me so I told her to move out. Now I think she's mad at me cause I didn't bother checking if she was alright. Turns out she's got a liver disease too oops lol. Can you guys tell me I'm a good dude to cause my ego needs it. ETA you're the asshole dude. Colossal. The post's been up an hour and I've already seen it on am I the devil. Info how did your wife being lonely and neglected become a need for space in your head? You're the asshole. It sounds like you kicked her out of your home. Obviously you both need to learn to communicate better because things will only get more difficult with a baby. What in the yellow wallpaper kind of story is this? Holy shit you're the asshole. You're the asshole. You didn't do this to help her. You did this for yourself. She needed you to be there. She needed emotional support. But you were happy to ignore her so you could have the house all to yourself. Your wife was sick and alone and you ignored her. Now she knows how selfish you are. I bet when your kid gets too much for you you'll kick them out and ignore them too. Shame on you for being such a selfish spouse. You're the asshole. Wife hey you're not spending enough time with me. Up let me send you to your parents house to live alone for a week. You're the asshole you abandoned your wife when she needed you the most. You made massive assumptions and it didn't seem to occur to you to ask her what she needed. All you wanted was her out of your hair so you could focus on work. You managed to make her feel like such a burden that she didn't even feel able to tell you she was sick. You're the asshole. You're the asshole, it's so pitiful, I feel so sorry for her, I can't imagine how trapped she feels. Your wife girl I hope you're reading this please leave go to your parents house and see if they can come back or you can join your family down under. You deserve better. Up you're the asshole. You're the asshole. Why on earth didn't you just talk to her in the first place? She needed your support but instead you basically threw her out and then hardly even bothered to check to see if she was alright. You're the asshole. You told her to go live somewhere else because she was bothering you, then were surprised she didn't reach out because she didn't want to bother you. What the fuck?